If you're going to start to sing, assuming you've done your volume checks and the microphones are turned on and the TVs are on, open your file, choose a song or two, maximum two, At this point, if you have a singer ready to sing, open their file and choose songs for them. If you have more singers ready to sing, only choose the songs for one singer. When you've sung your song and your first singer is singing, you can then put a song in for the next singer and so on. This gets the karaoke going fast with little wasted time at the beginning of a karaoke night. If you organise all the singers that are ready to sing before you start the karaoke, it will take valuable singing time from the singers. Singers soon learn which karaoke in town starts soonest and they will support the early starters because they get to sing more songs. Now turn the volume up on K-Jams and hit the control and space bar. This will stop iTunes. Hit the space bar and karaoke will start playing. You can do this move very fast. Try it. Hit the space bar, then immediately hit the control space bar. You can do it the other way around if you wish. Hit control space bar, then just hit the space bar. You want as little dead sound as possible. If you were to move your mouse to start and stop k jams and iTunes, it obviously takes longer and is more work for you to do. Watch. Obviously, doing it this way, you've got to have iTunes window on the desktop which takes up more room on your desktop and you're fiddling about with a mouse instead of using shortcuts use the shortcuts it's better for your hands looks more professional and fast This shows a three finger movement to so two movements control space bar space bar I hope you've enjoyed the video, there will be more to follow, I'll do a more technical one next time and I'll do a troubleshooting one and I hope to see you soon.